Hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to use the Xeno Configurator app for Neo Sabers lightsabers. Today I'll be using the RGB Phoenix Saber, but the steps apply for NeoPixel and other RGB sabers. With the saber set to wake mode, we're going to connect the saber to the app. On the screen, you'll see this thing that says connect the saber, turn on cell phone Bluetooth, and activate the saber to connect saber. The saber does not have to have the blade on, just has to be in wake mode. So we're going to press this, and it says please close to saber, and we want to click on the saber that we found. It's right there. We're going to hit connect, app connected. and the saber will say app connected. Once we're inside the app, we can see uh, the battery level. Mine's at 74%. We can adjust the volume. Volume level, 80%. I'm going to set it at about 40%. Volume level, 40%. Now, from the app, we can also ignite the saber by pressing the little power button. Right now, I have it set to one of the sound fonts. Those can be changed in the app as well. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the saber and click on Font Select. In Font Select, we can scroll to either side. The Master. The Master. Dark Lord Order. As you can see, we've got several options to choose from. You can scroll through them. Unfortunately, they don't have names in the app. That would be a great feature, but it's not super necessary. Fallen Apprentice Magenta. So when we have an effect that we like, we can go back and turn it on again. So from here, when we have the saber lit up, we can uh, control some of the effects. Like we can control the lockup light by pressing lock up light effect, drag light effect, blaster light effect. Flash on clash. And force light effect. Another thing we can do with the app is change the color. We can click on color palette and then drag around on the circle to determine what color we like. Here's green, blue, find a nice magenta color to go with the sound font. I think that's okay. I'm gonna turn the lightsaber off once more. Another option that you have is playing a music track, which seems to not be working at the moment. Some other things you can do with this are change the brightness. So in order to do that, we're going to need to turn it on. So we can turn down or up the brightness. Obviously, it's going to be set to full brightness when you go into it at first. We have Flash on clash sensitivity, you can turn up or down. Uh, power on time, power off time. I set my power off time lower so that it's easier to turn all the way off. And then you have other options if you use a NeoPixel lightsaber. You can turn on and off multi-block mode and multi-lock mode, which is also uh, something to note. And then we can adjust the motion control sensitivities. So for pull push on, that's basically a stabbing motion. You can turn that on and off and change the sensitivity. By default, pull push on and pull push off are turned on. I turn off pull push off because I'm not sure why I would need to stab to turn it off. Uh, another option you have is the twist on and off. You can turn on and off these things and adjust the sensitivity. I like to leave both of these on. Here are some of the features that they don't have yet that they may be adding in the future. It's not likely, but it's possible. You can do a custom function, custom light effect, and custom font, but they all say more function awaiting. In this menu, we can look at the saber. We can upload configurations, read configurations, update the software, factory reset, rename, uh, adjust the firmware, or transfer to different types. I'm going to rename this one to Phoenix RGB Saber. Phoenix is intentionally spelled wrong.
There we go. And you can hit the disconnect button if you'd like to unconnect the lightsaber. I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look at the Xeno Configurator app. For more lightsaber videos, filmmaking videos, visual effects tutorials, and crafting videos, please subscribe and check out my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.